Hey guys, what's up? So, I'm very excited to have these with me. So I went to the uh, the Walmart by close by to my house. The I call it the Sucky Walmart, and I went to buy some two Ultras uh, backer guns. So I got myself Pyrus Ultra Hyper Dragonoid and Arlis Ultra Ultra Pyravian. But I'm gonna be reviewing one of them. So today we're gonna be reviewing is the Pyrus Ultra Hyper Dragonoid. So you guys already know for the Ultra Pack of Guns comes with one character card and one ability card, two cores, one instruction, rule book, and a back and two pack of cores. So yeah. Here's the new artwork for the um for the uh Hy hyper ultra dragonoid. I did admit a I did admit a reveal of uh, this one, the original Ultra Dragonoid, but I will do a comparison side by side, so yes. Here's the back of it. You could download the app if you want. Difficulty challenge is a two. Also available for the um, ultra back of guns are darkest ultra webm, aquas ultra fangsor, a ventus ultra hydronoid, and lastly but not least a arless ultra ven rocks ven vens rocks. I can't even say it. I'll still find out how to pronounce it right. So yeah. So let's open it up and take a look. Now, unfortunately, the cards it comes with, which I already own. So that means I'm going to have to give it to my sister to sell it for me. And that pretty much that's it for now. But you guys already know the card of Hyper Ultra Dragonoid. If you guys already seen the others, Baku YouTubers reviewed them since when they uh, got released. And the great thing about it, we got the new version of the checklist, which we already know the uh, you know the the rules. But here is the new version of the checklist. I'll show you that guys later when I got everything out. I'm gonna put the two back of course away for now. I should have bought myself the uh, five pack. I sh I should I you know what? Next time I'm gonna buy myself a five pack and. Review them for you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna get the card out. I'm gonna put Dragon out of the way for now and put all the other stuff out as well. I'm gonna bring out the cards as well, so I could put the, this away. Now for the back of course, focus on the camera. There we go. The two pack of cores that comes with is a magic shield and a flame fist, of course, with the ultra dragonoid. So here it is for the magic shield, magic shield, sorry, 600 plus 650 B power, and for the um, flame fist, for the flaming fist, 250 B power plus three, three damage. So yeah, I'm gonna put this in the ground right now. And here is the card. It comes with, which I already show you guys, the Pyrus Ultra Dragonoid character card, two cores, magic, magic shield, and the uh, flame fist. B power is a 500, damage is a five. Here, here it is, the evolution card. I'm not. Is this one is a common? I think I have this one in a hex version. I do not remember, but I check. But I already know I already have these two cards, so I'm gonna check it out. If I already do have them, then I'm gonna. Give it to my sisters. Give it to my sister to sell it on eBay, and that's it. So yeah. Here is the new checklist. This is the I think version three or version two of the checklist. Because if you guys see my RLS Ultra Maxador review, this is the version one, and you guys already seen the uh, Pyrus, which is the new checklist with the uh, darkest fangs or. At the Ultra things or I think that was version two. I think this one is version three or version four, but I do not remember. You got some of the old Bakugan that we already know, but you got some new ones as well. Viserok, I hope I think I said it right. Hydronoid, Coptor, what else? Killion, Hyper Dragonoid, uh, what else? Tonk, 
Tuknoidus? Tuknoidus? I hope I said it right. Nobilius, um, Pandox, Scorpius, Scorpius, that, that's, that one I'm gonna get, the, the Scorpio one, because I, this one is my favorite. Lupifion, Phaedrus, and Pyrarian. For the course, original, for the course, Trino, Centaur, Viserock, Viserock, sorry, um, Hydranoid, Fate, Phaedrus, Cyndius, Cubbo, Fate Ninja, but this one we have in a Diamond one, Scorpius, and uh, pretty much that's it. The only back gun I want to get is the um, Tunkus, Tunkanoid, no, like Tunkus, uh, Pandox, Scorpius, what else? Claptor, probably uh, Centaur, and probably Fate Ninja and Cubbo, so yeah. Here is the instruction for the, you know, the um, Hyper Ultra Dragonoid, but we already know how to close this one. Is This one is the remold of the original one, of course. Now I'm going to bring the camera down to show you guys the back gun. Focus on the camera. They still have the um, Dragonoid Maximus. I will probably buy it, but I wish to have like, you know, the lower price. Load the price down a bit, like about, put it about 20 bucks. So yeah. So here it is. Now the Hyper Ultra Dragonoid. It's a remote of the original Dragonoid. Manual parts are the arms. Which I think that's as far it goes. Yeah, that's the far as it goes. If I can get the original one, alright. Horn is a manual part as well. It does go up and down like that. It does go all the way like this, so yeah. The only difference is they added the new wing right there. And I think this one is kind of stuck. Okay. Oh, this one is a manual part as well. So let's so see. The arms, horn, the extra set of wings. Pretty much that's it. Are manual parts. So like I said, this is just a remold of the original Hyper Dragonoid. Which... I can find something magnetic right here. There we go. I'm gonna bring the arms out just a little bit. Here's compare both of them side by side. You already guys know the differences. So the difference is the chest, the green chest is a little bit smaller, does have the um green line over there, which is kinda weird. No green line on the legs unfortunately, which is kinda disappointing. Wings are different, face is different, and for the tail is different as well. So here is the original tail for the hype of the Ultra Dragon. Here, here is the new tail. Overall, this thing is still the same thing. B power is the same thing, 500B, 500B of course, and even on the side as well. We already know how to close this one, how to close the original um, Ultra um, Pyrus Ultra Dragonoid. We already know how to close this boy up, of course. And for this one, you want to start off with fold the arms like that, fold the horn down like this, and fold the manual wings down like this, and there you go. Now start off by, let's see. Oh, Jesus, almost knocked the camera off. I'm not using the instruction. I already know how to close this one because this is just the remold version of the... This is the remold version of the uh, Ultra Dragonoid. And it's pretty simple. Fold the legs like this. Fold it like, fold it like this. Push the head down. Bring the tail all the way in. Oop. Just make sure you have the t the, uh, the last tail all the way in as well. Fold this in and bring this whole piece in as well. And there you go. Now you got Hyper Ultra Dragonoid in the ball form. Comparison with the uh, the other with the um, Ultra Dragonoid, the red on the wings is a kind of a 
kind of the same, I guess. Now, now you guys are wondering, are confusing, which one is the uh, Ultra Dragonoid and which one is the Hyper version. For the Ultra Dragonoid, this is what it looks like. With the two little dots showing like this, with the massive gap right here on the original, doesn't show everything. Is the whole wing is completely filled in, and I kind of like what uh, Spin Master did. So yeah, now it's gonna bring the two pack of cords to see see the uh, pop off version because we want to see it jump and land. So the arrows pointing this way. So let's test it out. All right, that's it's opening up, but it didn't get the core, and the camera camera is blurry. It's getting doesn't want to cooperate cooperate with me. Don't do this to me, camera. Let's try this again. This time, we need the back of core on this right here. Take two. Take three. There we go. There we go. I'm going to put the instruction out of the way for now. I'm going to put this onto the uh, wall. I'm going to put the two cards on the background. Put the two cores out of the way as well. And I'm going to fold everything out and give you guys my final result on this one. Overall, Hyper Ultra Dragonoid is one of the coolest Bakugan ever. If you guys want to do want to collect this one, make sure you find it at local Walmart. Excuse me. Whew. Sorry about that. Find it in your local Walmart, Target, eBay, Amazon. Anywhere you can find. Even your even the Toys R Us in Canada. So yes. This um the Ultra Bakugan costs about ten dollars. The Baku the Baku core, the original core Bakugan costs about seven bucks as well. So yes. So you guys already know the rules, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Steam. And don't forget to, um, to, um, finish putting your, the Dead by Dead Life, because it's still free, all in, it's gonna be over, I don't know for how long, but you better check it out. So yes. So until next time you guys, have a nice day, and I'm out.